The COVID-19 pandemic that we're currently experiencing ha has primarily impacted us by uh, just lowering the amount of missions that we are conducting in Arlington National Cemetery. So Delta Company, my company, we're still assigned as the primary memorial affairs company, and we are still ready, able, and are currently executing missions in Arlington National Cemetery. All of the precautionary measures that, that are required and recommended by the CDC and DOD are being taken on the buses in the form of sanitization. Uh, they're being taken in the company and they're being taken when it comes to rehearsing and executing missions. Being able to adapt, you know, um, something's happening. We're still, we're still able to do our job and I find that very impressive. You know, like we didn't just, the army doesn't shut down. The military doesn't shut down and we have to like be able to continue doing our job. And for you know our leadership to sit there and you know come up with a plan and like put that plan into effect to help us out to where we can still do our jobs, feel more protected, and still actually like protect ourselves and others, it kind of puts everything into perspective. Where you're like you just you feel better about yourself, you feel better about you know the people around you that you're not gonna get them sick. So the face coverings that we are now wearing, that people are now seeing us execute missions in Arlington National Cemetery. The purpose of these is to adhere to the CDC guidelines and recommendations about the prevention of the spread of COVID-19. We're complying fully with, with those recommendations, as is the rest of the DOD. Um, you know, we're just trying to protect ourselves, protect the families. You know, we have a job to do and we're not just going to let, you know, a virus that's, you know, harming people, we're not going to let that stop us from being, like, do, being able to do our mission, which is to honor the fallen.